Went out to the Buffalo Sabres cleaning house. A short time ago, we heard from owner Terry Pagula a day after he fired his general manager and head coach. Pagula made a short statement and then he answered questions for about 10 or 15 minutes. He said he will be much more involved in the search process to find a new GM and head coach. In a moment, we'll go live to the Key Bank Center to hear from our Adam Benini. But first, here's a bit of what Pagula said last hour. Six years ago, I stood here and told the Buffalo Sabres fans that the reason for our existence was to win a Stanley Cup. That is still the truth. One team wins the cup. We expected more this season. Kim and I spoke in depth with Tim and Dan separately and decided that our organization needed more discipline, structure, and communication in order to be successful. We will move forward with new leadership and compete in the National Hockey League for the coveted cup. And Adam joins us live now from the Key Bank Center. Adam, you had a couple great questions for Mr. Pagula. Let me first ask you about what he said repeatedly there. He brought up discipline, structure, and communication. What did we learn about where he wants to take this franchise moving forward? Well, and character, Michael. Uh, he added that on numerous uh, occasions during the course of this 15-minute news conference today where he really didn't say a whole heck of a lot but uh, he stuck to those talking points and tried to convey uh, that message in the wake of, uh, of yesterday's firings. And I think it speaks to a lot of what we've talked about uh, over the course of the, of, of the past day, yesterday, and up until the point uh, today at this news conference where the communication part of it, uh, I certainly think, Michael, that speaks directly to Dan Bilesma's coaching style, the lack of communication that took place there, the lack of clear and consistent message, the fact that uh, even by Murray's account that he would spend too much time, he and the staff, watching video and not enough time getting to know players. And, and that's something that a lot of players I know were frustrated uh, about. But in terms of structure, discipline, and character as well, uh, as I said, in leadership, quite frankly, new leadership that he had talked about, I think it speaks to the overall way that uh, GM Tim Murray uh, had run this organization and the overall results. I mean, here they are at a phase in the rebuild where so much more was expected in terms of possibly being a playoff contender this year. Instead, they're three points shy of where they were last year in last place in the division. So those results are unacceptable, and I think it all adds up to the decisions that uh, have come down in terms of the dual firings uh, in this case. And as you mentioned, he made it clear he's going to be much more involved than he was, for example, when Pat LaFontaine hired Tim Murray mm -hmm. and when Tim Murray hired Dan Bilesma as head coach. Michael? The first question to Pagula earlier today, Adam, was about Jack Eichel and the reporting out there that Eichel had made some demands that leadership needed to change in order for him to consider being a part of this team moving forward. Uh, Pagula seemed to dismiss that. What do you make of that back and forth and, and how much of a factor it was with this player discontent? Well, I think this. I mean, uh, you know, a couple of days ago when uh, WGR's Paul Hamilton broke uh, that story and we contacted Peter Fish, who uh, Terry mentioned uh, today, um, he's the agent for Jack Eichel, who immediately said that nothing could be further from the truth, that Eichel was 100% on board with the idea of signing an extension with Buffalo so long as negotiations went well, and he didn't know where that came from, and Pagula called it a fabrication today. Uh, but since that story broke, a couple of sources have told me that that was, there were rumblings of that during the course of the year uh, in the locker room, I think this. I don't think it was a formal demand, Michael, on Jack Eichel's part that Bilesma had to go, but I do think it's emblematic of a lot of the player frustration that, that Pagula did refer to today and, you know, we referenced the fact that they did talk to players. That came to the surface. I don't think it was a specific demand, but it, it kind of did a lot to, to demonstrate the problem and the lack of communication and clear message that was, you know, that existed under Dan Bilesma here and the need to make a change at the very least in terms of the coach winds up they made a change at GM as well. Absolutely. And also uh, Terry Pagula saying he wants to move quickly and efficiently. So we're going to be talking and learning a lot more about how this process is going to work moving forward. Adam will be part of our team doing that in our evening newscast today. Adam, thank you for that. Remember, you can follow the latest on these uh, developments with the Buffalo Sabres. Make sure you have our free WGRZ mobile app. You can see the story right there at the top.